Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will see how to use Use Selector and Use Dispatch Redux hooks. Like other videos, along with these hooks, we'll do some other changes as well. So watch till the end and it will be helpful. As you can see here, application is up and running. Let's do login. Login successfully. All three menus are navigating properly. Let's log out. See, things are working as expected. Let's start implementing the required changes. This theme is okay, but let's download the GitHub theme. Then the Visual Studio will be darker. See, the dark theme is good for the eyes. Let's install this one. Change this to GitHub dark. See, now it is darker. Okay, this is up to you. If you want, you can download. I'm just suggesting. Okay, let's start the changes from the home.js file. Here you can see constant for map state to props. This we can replace using the use selector. Let's see how. Before return, let's create one constant variable name. Let's say auth. Now call use selector. And here pass state same as below. No need to return anything. And see, that's it. It's very simple. Now remove map state to props and connect function from export default. Now auth is not coming from props, so remove props and get the username from auth constant, which we declared for use selector. Remove the connect input as well. As you can see, home.js code is pretty simple and it's straightforward now. So like this, we'll do similar changes in some other JS files also. Let's open the navigation bar JS file. Here also you can see both, I mean map state to props and map dispatch to props constant. First, let's use use selector hooks. Here, this logic is same as the home.js file. Okay, we replaced map state to prop from use selector. Now we'll replace map dispatch to props from use dispatch. Let's create one more constant. Give a variable name like dispatch. You can give any name. Now call use dispatch hooks. Now to call logout user, we'll use dispatch instead of props. Same code even you can see at line number 73 also. Now remove all unwanted code. See code is pretty simple now. Let's check the home and navigation bar related functionality is working or not. Let's log in. Welcome message is coming which means home.js is working. And navigation also working which means navigation bar JS is working fine. I hope the changes are clear for you. You click or mouse over the logout action, then we can see the logout user action code in the tooltip or suggestion. So if it is showing or navigating, that means everything is okay. And instead of just passing false, let's pass JSON which is similar to authenticate user. Now it is much better. Here, instead of directly using the URL, let's declare a constant and use that constant variable. That is better. So this is authenticate user action and this used inside the login JS file. And obviously this action is calling by using map dispatch to props that we replace with use dispatch hooks. See here is the login JS file. Oops, this is a class component and we cannot use hooks inside the class component. So first we have to convert this class to a function component and we'll do the hooks related changes as well. Remove the component which we are extending. Okay, component removed. Now remove class and change it to either constant or function. Both are fine. I am using constant. Now add constant before the initial state. Here is the code for map state to props and map dispatch to props. This is the end goal. But before this, we'll see how to convert the class to functional component. Constructor is a lifecycle method, but now it's a functional component, so we cannot use constructor. Let's remove it. Later, we'll write the alternate code. Here, inside the credential change method, we're using state. But as you are aware, like we cannot use state inside the functional component. So we have to use the use state hooks to achieve the same logic. We cannot use name directly. So let's add a constant for all. Again, render also a lifecycle method. So let's remove this as well. Now here we are extracting email, password and error from the state. Remove the error and for error let's declare use state hooks. Now 
remove the error from the initial state also here inside the validate user change the logic for error see it's simple similarly like error we are using email and password so either we can declare a state for each or let's declare a state for the user See, this is much better here for credential change first add a constant i have shown you earlier that we are extracting email password and error from state similarly we can extract name and value from event dot target let's write the code i hope this is clear now call set user and that's it see it's simple Okay, now let's create a constant for use dispatch. Now pass authenticate user call to dispatch and for email and password extract them from the user. Okay, so this is done. As you can see, map state to props code is similar to other JS files, so we'll follow the same approach. Now let's remove this code. Okay, as you can see here, we are using set timeout. So now let's use a different approach. After dispatch, we can call then and catch. And we can extract a result from the response. See, this is perfect code. Okay, so this is done. Now again, at line number 53, we are calling the set state method. So instead of set state, call set user. Remove this also from all places. Okay, done. Let's go through the changes one by one. Now, this is pretty much simple and straightforward. As we remove the set timeout, so we have to do some changes in authenticate user action as well. Here, dispatch type login request. Let's declare outside like other constant. Similarly, let's do for logout request as well. Let's return back to authenticate user. So here, after arrow, add a dispatch as well. And as this should be an asynchronous call, so add async as well. Now remove login request, dispatch call from return. Add try catch block. Axios post call will move inside the try block. Use credential JSON directly. Move dispatch failure to the new catch block. Let's do some more changes. Add await before Axios. Hold a post Axios call to the response constant. Remove the then dependency because then we were using in react component when we did the dispatch call for the authenticate user See now code more optimized Here at the end we have to return promise But before that what is promise a promise object is simply a wrapper around a value that may or may not be known When the object is instantiated and provides a method for handling the value after it is known Also known as resolved or is unavailable for a failure reason we'll refer to this as rejected okay i'll simplify this so if it is an asynchronous call so initially the response value won't be there so we have to wrap the response object inside the promise resolve method don't worry i'll show you it's not that complicated it's simple and in case of error call the reject method of the promise okay so this is done this is the perfect code Okay, so all the changes are done. Now let's try to log in and see login is working or not. See, it's working.
here you can see the success message is not in our control i mean we cannot close that and it is not automatically hiding it's always visible so let's do some changes here is the alert related code let's declare one state for show and set the default value to true call the set show method and pass true when there is an error and show this as part of the condition and add a dismissible property for alert Now because of this code close icon also will appear but to activate that icon we need to call the on close method and here directly using the arrow function set show value we can change from true to false okay let's check it is working or not see it's working let's check the invalid case see this is also working okay so login component is done now let's apply the similar changes to the register component see this is also a class component so we cannot use hooks first we have to convert this to functional component this is just a practice time i am just doing the same thing which we did for the login component so just watch because i already explained everything as part of the login component now i am increasing the speed of the video so if you feel very fast and change the speed using the video setting desired speed is 0.5x Okay, so register component related changes also done. Now let's check is everything working or not. And see, things are working. Let's log in using the newly saved user. See, this is also working. Click on menus. It's working. So everything is working. After adding the changes related to Redux hooks, and those hooks are use selector, which is a replacement for the map state to props, and use dispatch, which is a replacement for the map dispatch to props. Don't worry about the code that you can find it from the GitHub. I will show you from where you can find this code. See, here are the changes. It's free. Feel free to download this code and run it from your computer. And like I did the changes for login and register same way you can do the changes for other class component as well it's all up to you
i hope you learned something from this video if yes then please do the needful things like like press the like button if you want to share with others then please share and if you think this is helpful then put some nice comment those are the kind of motivation for me and please subscribe my channel if you think the content is good thanks for watching soon we'll create a new video for this series bye bye